Hello Scorpio, this is going to be your June love reading for the first week of June. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be looking at your person's thoughts and feelings towards you. Okay, we're going to be looking at how you're influencing this person's life as well. So we're going to be trying to get as much information as we can. Uh, thank you so much for all your comments, likes, and subscribe, Scorpio. You guys have really stepped it up on the views. So um, I will be adding you guys to the roster for the 18 plus Patreon readings. So if you are interested in the 18 plus Patreon readings, I do the sign to consistently get over 5,000 views um, to Patreon readings a month. So if you guys consistently keep your views up, you will get two readings. I am going to do one for you guys this month and we'll see how it goes to, um, you know, for the second reading. I just don't want to overload myself because no one's going to be over there watching it on Patreon. I don't want to do readings that no one's going to watch. That's kind of my, um, methods behind that. Okay. So, um, if you need a personal reading, you can check out the links below. There are two different options for you down there. Uh, there are, you know, links to my Instagram handles, which I post every day on Instagram. So check me out there and also make sure you check out my Patreon and my altar shop where I sell candles and things like that. Okay. So your person's energy, your Oracle card is surrender. Ooh, you got someone who's ready to surrender. What? Okay. I wasn't expecting that Scorpio. So let's see what we have going on. We have the five of pentacles. Someone misses you. All right. No wonder they're ready to surrender. They feel like you may miss them as well, though. So there may be like a mutual uh, missing here. You both missing each other. Show me how this person feels about Scorpio. How do they feel? We have the five of wands. So you guys are not on good terms. This is someone you had an argument with. You had a lover spat. Two fives, five of pentacles, five of wands. So it's safe to say that you and this person are going through some sort of obstacle, struggle, uh, not on the same page. They also could feel competition around you. They could feel like you're dating others, okay, with this five of wands. So they miss you. This could be someone who didn't value you when you guys were together. You left them. Now you're dating other people and they want you back. We have the page of cups. Wow, water energy here. So how you're influencing this person's life, this person's definitely in their feelings about you. I feel like they, uh, maybe this person wasn't emotionally available or they weren't acting as if they had feelings for you. But I feel like with this page of cups here, they definitely have feelings for you. They also want to apologize. That's what I'm getting with this page of cups. So if you guys have had an argument with this person, they could be a Leo, another Scorpio. They want to apologize. They want to make this work. They want to work it out. Why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here for Scorpio? Let's see, why is the five of pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the five of pentacles here, spirit? Why are they thinking of uh, Scorpio as the five of pentacles? We have the nine of swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's thinking about you at night. They're missing you. They probably lied to you or they were deceptive to you, so they regret it. This is regret, remorse. They can't get you off their mind. This was very similar to Libra's reading, so you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Uh, why is the five of wands here, spirit? The three of pentacles. Yeah, this person feels like you are dating others. Like you're dating other people. You're entertaining other options. You're um, very powerful at this time. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Gemini. This person also feels like you're manifesting very highly in your career or in your, you know, if you have a business. Financially, you're really manifesting. So this person got their eye on you. They must be spying on you, possibly on social media. This seems to be someone who has a pretty good idea about what's going on in your day-to-day -day life, okay? Whether they're hearing it from people, the Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles could definitely be a lot of different people involved. Um, this could be coworkers. This could be gossip at work, um, gossip amongst mutual friends. This is definitely someone who has a way of finding out what's going on with you and they're missing you. They're not happy about the fact that you're pretty much seemingly moving on without them. Clarify this page of cups, the chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, so this person's probably, they have to be an Aries for some of you, Virgo, Gemini, a Cancer, Scorpio. So they want to apologize. The chariot tells me that they're trying to muster up the strength to come forward and speak to you. Uh, especially if they were deceptive to you, they were lying to you. This is someone who may have to like uh, swallow their pride, I'm hearing. 
This could be someone who really played games with you in the past. They're embarrassed about their behavior. They're embarrassed about getting caught. They may travel to come see you. If you and this person live at a distance, they may actually get in their car. I'm seeing a blue car for some of you, um, a gold car definitely coming towards you to po apologize with the Page of Cups to try to start this over. This could be your Divine Masculine for some of you. So this could be Twin Flame. This could be the person who was running in the connection, now surrendering and I guess essentially becoming the chaser or the one who's actively pursuing this union. Temperance in the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person feels like they're receiving some karma. With the Temperance in Wheel of Fortune, I feel like spirit may be uh, causing this person to experience some blocks in their personal life. This could be after you block them as well. Um, they feel like this connection was faded. They definitely feel like there's a lot of um, like fate meant to be type of energy here and they ruined it. They ruined a, a positive thing. They ruined something that God gave them, a gift. That's how they feel. A lot of you are healers. You could be Reiki healers. Definitely, I see some of you work with your hands. You have very powerful or spiritual healing hands. You could be readers, okay? They feel like they messed up. Uh, they missed out on, like, a, I'm getting gift of a lifetime with from this person, definitely. So, um... This person wants to apologize to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. They may have chose someone else over you and they're having regrets. They may have let other people's opinions get involved in how they treated you. Let's see. Get a card of advice from my deck. If you want to purchase this deck, it is available um, in the altar shop. We have maybe one day when I grow up. So this person knows they were behaving childish. And we have the high priestess. This definitely could be twin flame. And I also feel like you've gone silent on this person. They could be a Pisces. We also have vibing like a cancer at the bottom of the deck. So they could be a cancer. This is someone that you had really good sex with because we have y'all some nasties, but that ain't my business. So you had really good sex with this person, but they didn't have their shit together is what this is telling me, okay? Uh, so this is your twin flame, most likely Scorpio. You walked away from this person. Um, you left their life. You're silent. For a lot of you, this is someone that you're not communicating with, okay? If you are, it's very few, far in between. You're trying to keep your moves probably secret from this person, but trust me, they have their ways of finding out what's going on with you, okay? Whether you guys, I think it's mutual people you guys know what... Um, I don't really see the page of swords, so this doesn't have to be social media stalking. A lot of you could have blocked this person on social media, but they're still talking to people, I feel. Like people that work with you or friends that you know. They're very interested in what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life is what I'm seeing with this person, okay? Um, for sure. So like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, uh... Yeah, water sign Sagittarius is here twice as well, okay, for the signs that I see. So let's see what this person, we're going to shift into extended now. Um, we're going to look at this person's next actions towards you, Scorpio. So their next actions towards you, we're going to look at the next phase of the relationship. And we're also going to look at the next three months with this person, how things are going to play out. Okay, I always like to do a nice three-month spread. We're going to uh, flip your Romance Oracle card over as well in the extended. So if you're interested in that, please check out the link below. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for you guys participating and um, interacting with me on my channel. It really helps me out with the views and, you know, growing my channel. Uh, if you need a personal, you can check out the links below. There's also a link to get my deck and my uh, other products. There's plenty of things down there for you to look at in the description box, okay? I just hope you guys come back next week or check me out in the extended, okay? See you, Scorpio. Bye.